I'm Eric Pepper, Professor of Holistic Health at San Francisco State University at the Institute for Holistic Health Studies. The Lemon Imagery, Exploring the Mind-Body Relationship. What I'd like you to do is just sit very comfortably. So wiggle around, press your ankles together, press your knees together, bring your arms up, really tighten more and more and more. And how many of you are holding your breath? <laughs> Did I ask you to hold your breath? No. So if the only lesson to learn is to keep breathing all the time, that's the first step of health. Let's repeat it one more time. This time, keep breathing easily and comfortably. Press your ankles together. Press your knees together. Tighten your buttocks. Pull your anus right to your belly button. Bring your arms up. Wrinkle your face really tight and keep breathing. Feel the tension in your legs. Feel the tension in your shoulders and your hands. Forearms. Take a deep breath. And let go. Great. And now I'd like you to show the difference in letting go. So Jung, could you show us how to let go? So tighten for a moment and then truly let go. Great. Paul, can you just show us again, do the same thing. Tighten, really bring your arms up more and let go. And what you see in Paul's case is that when he let go, he did not really let go. Lift your arms up one more time and notice when you let it go, you're just letting it drop slowly, right? Mm -hmm. No, that's not how to do it. Be like a raggedy and doll. Just look at Jung doing it for a moment. Jung, just tighten for a moment more. Really tighten more. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And then just let go. Great. Read the whole, like it all just drops. Plop. Good. Much better. So let's do it finally a third time. And what I'd like you to do is all of you press your ankles together, press your knees together. Tie the buttocks, pull your anus right to your belly button, bring your arms up, keep breathing, tighter and tighter, hold the tension. Now take a deep breath, go and then let go. Good. And now let your eyes just relax. Let the face just relax. Feel the face more and more relaxing, as if the cheeks are just sinking down, as if your eyelids, your eyes are sinking through their sockets. And feel the relaxation in your body. Feel how your buttocks are pressing against the couch. Feel how your hands are resting against the couch or against your thighs, your forearms. Just be aware of and for a moment feel the sensations in the muscles which previously were tight in your arms, in your legs. And just let them relax more. Feel the heaviness in the arms and the legs. And then just breathe easily and comfortably. And allow your eyes just to be closed. And if your attention wanders to other things, that's perfectly okay. Just bring it back to the task at hand. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to image, to visualize an object. And remember, when we visualize or image an object, for some people it's in total living color, just like a, a color television set or a movie. For others, it's just black and white. For others, it's just a sense of presence, a sense of awareness. You know, it's almost a felt experience. And for others, it's our words. Whatever is your style of imagery or visualization is yours. Whether you really see it or sense it or feel it is not as important. Just let it occur. And what I'd like you now to do is just imagine a lemon a very big yellow lemon, one with two chubby ends. Really see it. Let it be really there. I like to imagine this lemon just being in your kitchen and I want you to get a knife and a cutting board. Put the lemon 
on the cutting board. Then get a knife in your hand and I'd like you to cut the lemon in half. And as you're cutting that, feel the tension in your forearms. You may feel the droplets of lemon juice against your skin. As you've cut the lemon in half, put the knife to the side and then pick up one of the half lemons and just look at it. Look at the outer yellow rind, the pale whitish inner rind, the half cut pits, the droplets of lemon juice glistening in the light. And then I'd like you to get a glass and hold this half lemon in your hand and I'd like you to squeeze this half lemon so the juice goes into the glass. Really squeeze it. Really squeeze it so you can see the juice going into the glass. You can even almost smell the essence of the lemon, the kind of citrusy smell. Hear the plopping of the pits, but they really keep squeezing till all the juice of this half lemon is in the glass. After you have squeezed this half lemon, put it down. Now pick up the other half lemon and really squeeze it. And squeeze it so the juice goes into the glass. Squeeze it more. Feel the tightness in your forearm. And after you squeeze that half lemon, put the half lemon to the side. And now just gently pick up the glass with your hand. Bring this to your lips. Let the rim of the glass rest against your lower lip. Feel the coolness of the glass against your lower lip. Now gently tilt the glass till you feel the lemon juice against your lips. Now open your mouth, tilt the glass more, and now just taste and swallow the lemon juice. And you can just spit out the pits if you want. And now just stretch open your, and open your eyes. And what did you experience, Jung? I salivated more and then it felt tight in my jaw like I was actually drinking it. Oh, wow. Paul, what did you experience? Yeah, a lot of saliva, like swallowing like I was actually drinking. Lena, what did you experience? The same for me and I could almost, the yeah, I had the same feeling, the salivating, and then I also could almost feel my muscles twitch when we were squeezing the lemon and different things like that. And so the question I would ask, is why did they guide you for the exercise? What's the purpose of it? To let us yeah. know that our mind controls much more of our body than we realize. Yes, I think the, what you just said is really correct. Is that without knowing, thoughts and images change our physiology. If you think about it, the reaction to the lemon juice triggered salivation which is a kind of parasympathetic reaction. Now imagine what thoughts of anger do to your body, or love, or tenderness, or resentment. Notice you had a choice. You can imagine a lemon, or you can imagine anger or resentment. And so if we can take that concept home, then when our brain starts rehearsing and ruminating on negative, depressive, hopeless thoughts, we can remember that could affect us. Maybe by choosing to think on positive images, optimistic, empowering thoughts, it may improve our health and physiology.